It was aggressive, it's gonna hit it again. Got it. Oh, man. Oh, rip and drag. What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Grip and Rip and Fishing. My name is Trey, and today we're doing an impromptu fishing outing with my dad. So, as you can see, there he is out there with his uh, life jacket on, his fishing hat. He is ready to go. So, we are going to get out there. Um, it's about 5:30, almost six in the afternoon. Um, so the sun is going down. It's been super hot today, so I'm really hoping these fish are going to be up here in the shadows uh, along the edges of the pond, and we're going to get on some big bass today. I love fishing this pond. I haven't seen my dad in a while, so going to be a good time. I haven't been out here in forever, and I'm excited to be out here. It's always a complete struggle trying to get in this pond during the summertime because of all this muck everywhere and this stuff is thick. Just can't get the, the kayak through it. And uh, I'm always breathing hard by the time I get out here. I'll tell you what, we catch some fish at, fish at this spot. So it's always worth the struggle. See what's out here. Whoa, we're pulling back a lot of muck. We're pretty far out away from the bank and we're still pulling in a lot of muck. This is not a good sign for the plan that I had. The plan that I had was gonna be to stick to this jerk bait and chowder bait up against the shore. Try to wake these fish up before it uh before the sun goes down, make a little bit of noise, a little bit of flash, and uh, see if we can't get them on, on them that way. But I just reeled in a whole bunch of pond scum all at one time. So I think we're gonna move down the pond, see if we can try to find a spot that doesn't have quite as much muck against the shoreline, but still stick to the plan of throwing along the edge down there. We'll see what happens. Now I've also got something special in the boat today. I've got a prototype swim bait that I've been working on with a buddy of mine. And I haven't shown anybody yet, so um, I might throw it around today. And if I catch something with it, you guys might see it on a video. You guys are welcome to hit me up about it on Instagram. Um, GNR Fishing on Instagram as well. Uh, just change the YouTube name to GNRF. GNRF, Gripping and Ripping Fishing. It's going to be super easy to search for. Yeah, I'm thinking if I do catch something with that swim bait today, I might premiere it on Instagram or I might let you guys see it in a YouTube video. Right now, I just want to catch a fish. So I'm going to start off with this missile bait right here. And we're going to throw along the edge. There's a couple laydowns over here. A little bit of pond scum that I'm not liking. Water's not as clear as this pond usually is, but I'm thinking we might hook up over here. This pond is usually crystal clear, but right now I can use this weightless missile bait almost like top water on top of this muck. Um, and then I can slow play it and let it sink to the bottom, see if something will come up and snatch it. So now that we have a plan, I'm gonna hit some of these open spots. Let's see what happens. What you? Just one bite. But we're getting back to the part where I think the fish will be. So, just a 
missile bait. So my thought process is this. You can either go deep out here. It's only four foot, but the water level is like two foot higher than normal, a foot or two. These logs are usually way out of the water, right? So they're gonna either be out in the deep spot because it's gonna be the coolest, or this is the first side of the pond to get shaded in the afternoon. So they'll be coming over here to feed off these trees, the insects, the frogs falling in the water. But then also the feeder creek is back there. So it's getting fresh, cool water on this end of the pond. Fish on guys. Fighting pretty hard. What is this? I think it's a pickerel. Oh no, we got a bass. All right. Use the net. Well, we don't miss it. There we go. First fish. Further we get back in the pond. That's what I was hoping for. So, um, Maybe we're on to something. It's not a bad size fish either. Man, probably uh, about a 1.2, 1.3 pounds. The length is there. It's got a little bit of a belly, but she's not eating very well. But that one's gonna be a big one one day. Uh, pretty good size mouth on it. Let's get this back in the water. I think we're, uh, we're headed towards the fish, guys. Woo, that one had some fight in it. That was fun. I thought it was a pickerel. It didn't come out of the water, uh, but it was fighting and head shaking. And that was a fun fight. But don't worry. See this little tree sticking out of the water? I'm going to pull one right off this tree. Oh my goodness. They tried to take it at the boat. That scared me. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> that was a nice sized bass, too. It hit it just as I was pulling it out of the water, chased it out of the water. Got enough? Oh, we missed it, guys. All right, so we're on them now. Here, get right back in there. It didn't get the whole thing, so I think we're good. Let's see what happens here. I think there's three or four hung up around this tree. Got it. She's small. This water is so warm. It's a little fish, but that's a fish, guys. All right, we're gonna get this one back in because I'm uh, I'm on them, guys. I don't want to scare them all away with the kayak, so I want to get this lure back in the water and see if we can pull the big sister of this one out. Guys, there, oh, got a big one. You guys heard that thing rip drag. Oh, it broke me off, guys. That had to have been a big pickerel. All right, so we've got hooks. We are good to go. It's not as big as I'd like, but you don't always have to go big. So now we need to pull out one of these missile baits and get right back in the water. They are loving it. This is the sauce. Throwing it weightless, uh, that seems to be the ticket. I wanna catch whatever just broke me off a few minutes ago, cause that was big. 
bent the rod over, ripped my drag, and then just took off with, with my lure, my hook, and everything. And then apparently it told its friends not to bite anymore. Oh, we had something. Come on, make that line tight again. Got it. Oh, it's good too. It's a good one. It's not too big. It's a decent fish. And that's why it's a pickerel. Look at this slimy dude. Thanks for biting, man. I'm gonna get this out of your mouth and we're gonna get you back in the water because there's some bass up in here to catch. There we go. Oh, and the takeoff. Blame pickerel about ripped my lure in half. But we're gonna salvage it for a little bit. Because if there's pickerel, there's bass because that means there's food up in here. by the base of the tree. See if there's one down there by the roots. We got it. Oh, we missed it, guys. I don't know what that was. It came right out of the water. I'm thinking it was a bass, but it looks skinny like a pickerel. We're gonna throw back in there because we did not get it. And uh, it was aggressive. It's gonna hit it again. Got it. That's got to be another pickerel. Oh, man. Oh, ripping drag. If this isn't a pickerel, guys, this is a big bass. We are ripping drag. It's a bass. It's a nice bass. And it is putting up a heck of a fight. Oh, oh come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's still fighting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, holy crap. This is at least, at least a four and a half, five pounder. We're getting this thing right on the scale. Look at that. Holy smokes. Don't go anywhere. Don't steal my stuff. I got bugs eating me out here. We are in the thick of it. All right, let's tear this thing. Come on, baby, turn on for me. We are all zeroed out. Where are we at? All right, we're over four pounds, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Over four pounds, look at that beauty. We're gonna get some pictures. We gotta take some pictures for the gram. Look at that. Big old mouth. Big old fish. We gotta get some pictures. If you guys aren't following me on, ooh, buddy. Still got some fight left in her. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you guys need to go check me out. I'm GNR fishing on Instagram. All right, guys. We're gonna get this back in the water, because uh, hey, I asked for the big sister, and maybe this one's big sister or grandmother's gonna be up in there. We need to catch another big one because this one is freaking awesome. All right, let's go. Oh, dragonfly landed on the rod. It's good luck. There it is. Perfect spot. We got a fish. Got a bite. It's not very big. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. These might be the same fish I was catching about two months ago. Just growing up a little bit with all this heavy feeding. Whew. 
Almost got me hooked. There we are. There we go. Another one right off the tree, just like I thought there might be. Um, I mean, everyone says fishing is just luck, but honestly, there's a little bit of skill to it. A lot of skill to it, if you want me to be really honest, because um, the difference between an amateur and a professional fisherman is the fact that they can put that lure right where they want it on the first try instead of having to cast around three or four times to try to get it. And then on top of that, you gotta know where to cast. And the more you're out here, the better you get at finding out where these fish are gonna be. We've been out here, we've been catching fish. So, um, you know, you come out here, the more you come out, the better you get. It's just like anything else in life. Here we go. Oh, the fish slap. That was pretty cool. We're gonna throw back at this log that we had some bites on earlier. I'm already hooked up, guys. Nice bass. Nice bass. Came right out of the water. Fighting. All right. Oh, we're gonna lose the rod in the water. All right, so this one's about a, another pounder. They're putting up a ton of fight. They got some energy today. So, awesome, awesome. I lost my, whew, lost the lure. So we're gonna have to throw another one on. We're gonna use a whole pack today and this thing is uh, just getting work done. So the Missile Baits D-Bomb Love Bug color is getting it done. Water's a little bit murky, so that's why we're throwing a dark color. Um, typically this pond is crystal clear, but right now there's just a ton of dead grass and just muck floating around the top, all under the surface. And uh, it's making for some uh, fun fishing today because uh, we are just having a blast out here. All right, check it out one last time. And back in the water you go. All right, stick with what works. That's what I always say. If we're catching fish with something, there is no reason to switch it up. What I did want to try before it got dark, I wanted to get over there and maybe throw this uh, prototype swim bait around that I uh, was talking about earlier in the video, but I'm just having so much blame fun over here catching fish. These things are slippery, guys. We're gonna do red side down because that's what's been working all day and why change it up? And then you uh, bend the bait back and bury the hook. See how it's exposed right now? Pull it forward just a little bit, bury the hook in there and this becomes essentially a weedless, weedless setup. Oh, we had something move right behind it. I think I got it. Oh, what was that? It swam hard with it, guys, but it didn't really have it. Let's see if it gets it this time. It's got to hit it just right. Come on. Got it. Oh, it's right here at the boat. Little teeny bass. There you go. Thank you, little guy. Might be the last one of the night, so uh, I appreciate it. Look at that. Little tip right there. If it's ever stuck, just pop the back of that hook. Comes right out. A little half pounder right here uh, there's a lot of fish moving in front of me guys so i'm gonna get right back in i i, I think we're gonna pull another couple fish out of this spot oh huge hit Let's see if it gets it again huge oh it's on guys Oh man, I think another fish hit it after that. No joke, guys, that was the biggest hit of the day. And uh, we pulled out this little pip squeak. 
I'm telling, they couldn't have been that fish. We got absolutely smashed and we pulled out a fish that's not even a half a pound. There is no way that's what that was. Guys, I got to throw back out there. I know I said that was going to be the last fish, but come on now. What do you expect me to do? All right, well, we're, we're seeing lightning, so I'm definitely getting out now. And uh, we're headed back to the truck. You guys didn't get to see the prototype swim bait, so you're going to have to make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you see when I post the next video. Maybe you guys will catch a glimpse. Just start hitting me up on Instagram, direct messages. Ask any questions you might have, and uh, maybe I'll do a giveaway. And some lucky winner is going to win one of them for free. And they're not cheap to make, so that will be awesome. So I'm excited to do it and uh, be happy to give back to you guys. Do you catch any? How many? What do you mean? Because I heard you yelling in the street. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate the help. It's be a lot better than over there. Uh, what do you mean? That side of the pond? I had one bite, caught two fish. Nice. The fish I did catch was the biggest fish I ever caught. Really? Fresh water. What was it? It was a bass. It got was it, a bass? Got it. See the boat? Got it in the boat? I'm not very versed at holding the rod and trying and to try to take it it's a whole different animal it in got, a kayak it got huh? down in the floor started flopping around uh, so i said i'm going to take a picture before it flops out turn around flop right out of the boat so it's a fisherman's story you know it's a true story okay <laughs> true story. oh man all right well there's lightning out there so we're going to get these things loaded up and as always thanks for watching we'll catch you guys next time on gripping and ripping fishing